Hey guys, this is Red, welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Nope, the blocks that you're seeing besides me and also that I'm holding on my hand, they are not added by a new mod or a new one command creation, they were added in Manila Minecraft right now today with a new snapshot that came out, which is actually the 17W06A. Now in this video I'm not going to show you guys what these uh, snapshot adds because uh, it mainly changes only the color of uh, sheep and the wool and also it's going to add these really nice and interesting blocks with some cool textures that are the terracotta blocks now one of them in particular okay i accidentally removed it one that particularly uh, attracted my attention was this magenta glazed terracotta block this is because it has a texture with a arrow now we can place these blocks depending like common blocks depending on the direction that we are looking at when placing these blocks and they will show the texture facing a different direction using this simple method i said that i can create some really simple working conveyor belts in vanilla minecraft and the way we create them is of course by creating a path using these arrows here and every time that we place these blocks facing in a different direction and every time that they have a different texture they will also have a different damage value just like command blocks or pistons that are facing a different direction and by using this system we are able to transport for example all types of entities and also players on these conveyor belts for, for example as you can see i'm not walking i'm not doing anything i am being transported by this conveyor belt around also you can apply the same effect to items and for example all, all types of entities so it can be mobs and also armor stands if we place them down on these blocks you can see that they are they are going to be transported around now one cool thing that you can do with it is like I came up with a couple of ideas is for example I made here a working treadmill in Manila Minecraft using the same concept and I placed some arrows that are facing the opposite direction that I'm facing and of course if we are trying to go on the opposite direction we are going to be slowed down and it will look like we are actually walking or running on the treadmill so for example you can see that my legs are moving if I try to walk against a block they are not moving so yeah we will have this really cool and nice effect now i know this treadmill is not really detailed but but i came up with the design really quickly um, for this video one other thing is that we can use it of course to transport items and also to transport uh, mobs because it works also on mobs and i can prove it using for example a sheep and let's see if we can get a colored one so i can show you guys that they will also have a different more uh, vivid color on them well uh, you can see it on the white ones you can kind of transport them if they don't try to move away from the conveyor belt now you may say well i can use this system transport items and mobs by using water yes you can do it but i said uh, why not use this system as well it looks pretty cool and you can make it uh, really easy for players to create these conveyor belts and for example one thing that you cannot do with the normal water flowing water is that you cannot have two different conveyor belts facing a the opposite direction that are one close to the other you cannot do it because of course the water would uh, connect together and the whole flowing system would be screwed up basically yeah so how does it work it's really simple we are going to use I have here two lines of common blocks the first one is mainly applied to players and the second one to uh, items or other entities this is because every time that a item has one of these blocks underneath one of these magenta glaze terracotta underneath these commands are going to detect it so in this uh, command here we are detecting executing for an item and every time that a magenta glazed what is the name a magenta glazed terracotta block is found one block underneath the block uh, the item we are going to give a different entity data command to that item so in this case we are going to detect for a terracotta block that has a damage value of zero in this other one we are going to detect for a terracotta that has a damage value of one then two and then three which will detect every single different one of these four um, magenta glaze terracotta so for example if the terracotta block having a damage value of zero is found underneath an item that item will get a motion effect of minus 0.15 blocks towards negative Z. Now, if a terracotta block with a damage value of two is found under that block, that item, uh, that item is going to have a motion effect that this time is going towards positive Z. So that's how we are moving objects around the world. Now, why do I have two different lines of common blocks? Is because we cannot apply a motion entity data command to a player. So for players, the only way to make this work is by using the TP command and we are going to detect same if there is a magenta glaze terracotta block with a different damage value under a player or other entities 
and we are going this time to teleport the entities or players 0.15 blocks towards one of the four different directions. Now, one thing that makes it better to have a motion effect is that uh, first off, for example, items, when we use the TP effect, the TP command on items, they glitch out and they will not show this fluid animation and they will update uh, the position every like one or two seconds, which doesn't make this really realistic. So we have to use a motion effect on items. But one other thing that makes it better to use a motion effect is that if a block is obstructing the way on a conveyor belt, you can see that the item doesn't move anymore, it doesn't go forward unless we remove that block. But if we do the same thing, for example, on this other conveyor belt, which has some TP commands applied to the entities, you can see that the entities will be able to go through uh, walls or through blocks that are obstructing the way, which is something that, again, we don't want to happen. So always, always apply a entity data motion command to an entity. For example, even players, they can kind of be teleported. And as you can see that they glitch out. So make sure that you don't obstruct the way. But that was it uh, about today's command creation, guys. It's a really simple one. You can find all the commands that I use in this video in the video description. You will be forwarded to my webpage where everything will be posted. So, as always, I want to thank you all guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy this command creation, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I guess that I'll see you all guys in my next video. See you. Bye.